The file's default language setting lets you configure which language VS Code uses for newly created files. You can use this, for example, to have all new files be treated as markdown if you're often taking notes, or if you're working in a specific programming language all the time, you could have new files be treated as that instead. Now, by default, VS Code will treat newly created files as plain text. So if I go and press Control N here or Command N on Mac to create a new file, you can see down in the status bar, it is plain text. If I type some numbers, there's no syntax highlighting. I can click down in the status bar to actually change the language. So I could go to like JavaScript, for example, and we start getting syntax highlighting. But if we wanted to skip that step, we could actually configure VS Code using this file's default language setting to automatically open the new file as a specific language, such as JavaScript or Markdown. So let's take a look at that now. So I'm going to open up my settings with Control comma or Command comma on Mac and say files default. And we want the files default language setting here. And in the uh, setting value, all I have to do is enter a language identifier. So I could do something like Markdown. And now if I go back and I say create a new file here, you can see that this file is automatically being, being treated as Markdown now. So if I start typing, you can see I have my syntax highlighting. I have the Markdown indicator up here, the Markdown icon, and it is being treated as Markdown here in the status bar as well. Now I could configure this to pretty much anything I want. So I could do like JavaScript, as we were showing before. And when I do create a new file here, you can see it's being created as JavaScript. So you can set whatever you want here. Now there's another useful value that the setting uh, description is actually talking about, and that is that you can use this special active editor language setting, and that will make VS Code use the currently active editor language for your new file. So let's go use that. I'm just going to copy that value from the setting description, paste that into the setting value down here. And now when I go to a TypeScript file and I press uh, Control N or Command N to create a new file, you can see that the new file is treated as TypeScript. But if I go to a Markdown file and I press Control N or Command N, you can see that the newly created file here is being treated as Markdown. So that's another useful setting value that you might want to consider is using this active editor language ID. As I mentioned, files default language is really helpful if you're working with a specific file type. And I find that setting this to active editor language is often really useful because when you're working in one file type, you often want to continue working in that language in your new file as well. So that's the files default language setting in VS Code.